you just heard Wednesday, so you know what time it is. Should you consider family planning? On the glass ceiling, we discuss ways to destroy the invisible obstacles that prevent women from achieving social, economic, cultural, and political equality in our society. Now, before I get into that, let me gist you for those of you who are football fans. Eh? Japan just beat Germany 2-1. Japan just beat Germany, and they beat Germany 2-1. They came from 1-0 down to win. It's mind-blowing. I don't know what's happening in this World Cup, but offsets everywhere. Everybody is in shock. Um, I don't know if it could be attributed to the shift uh, to like winter instead of summer where the players have gotten some rest away from the different leagues. I don't know what's happening, but and I don't even know if it's going to continue into the next stages, but it's just really interesting premium entertainment. Japan beat Germany, Lagos. But anyways, back to the glass ceiling. We're talking about family planning today. Starting a family is a blessing. It is a privilege. But it also comes with costs. It comes with challenges. If you do it at the wrong time, if you do it in the wrong way, if you do it at the wrong place, it could make it harder for that family to grow economically. It could lead to children who don't have access to quality education, to quality health care, to quality opportunities. It could also prevent a working mother from get, getting the most out of her career. That's why when we talk about families, we have to talk about family planning. My guest is a public health expert. He's going to tell us today um, what family planning entails exactly. Dr. Odebumi Adeniyi, good to have you on the show. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Sandra. Welcome. How's it's it's going well. Welcome. Yeah. Now, Lagos, I'm sure you have yeah. questions for the doctor. Go ahead and give us a call and ask your questions about family planning. Um, are you currently practicing uh, practicing some form of family planning? Have you uh, done some form of family planning in the past? What technique did you employ? What challenges or obstacles have you faced with it? Women call me on zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Men call me on zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine. 993993 and also still nominate your 12th debater for the Ibekti for Debate Tournament of Champions. Um, Dr. Denny, first things first, how do you define family planning? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Please. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. yes. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Family planning. Well, we use that um, layman term so that we understand it. Like me, said, we want to plan a family. Mm. To pregnancy should not be by chance. It is by choice. Hmm. I'm ready to get pregnant now, and I'm not ready now. You know, that's what family planning is. So in essence, we say uh, family planning is a way of uh, determining when you want to get pregnant. Hmm. You know. That's uh, just to put it in a simple term. Very, very simple and short. Okay. Yes. Well, just make it simple so that we all understand it better. Yes. It's determining when you want to get pregnant. Uh, pregnancy should not happen to you by chance. It should happen because you're ready or uh, yes. because you're ready, period. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what yes, are the major right. reasons why the public health and uh, public policy establishment recommends family planning? Uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, failing to plan is just planning to fail. You know, we're talking about the world population hitting about 8 billion now. Mm. So what are the professions that we make for that? Mm. Especially we know that is eating us hard in Nigeria. You know, it's, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be an advantage mm -hmm. to us. But unfortunately, if you don't have enough planning, you know, it will be otherwise. Mm. Now, you need to really plan in terms of um, you look at your finances, you look at your aspirations, your goals, mm. your plans in life. Mm. You know, you don't want um, bringing babies 
which is a bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want them to come and uh, disturbing or maybe the plans that you have had before. Mm. You know, that's why it is very important to plan your family. Mm. And you know, usually we're talking about uh, couples now. You know, having sex is something that uh, is legitimate. You know, I mean, couples. You know, you, you, anytime you can, you can decide to have that pleasure, that fun. Mm -hmm. You know, and we know that it's just once it's enough to, to make you pregnant. Mm -hmm. and that will now disrupt the plans that you've had. Mm. So so that that will not happen. Mm -hmm. That's why we advocate family planning, mm. you know, so that you still continue to enjoy uh, yourself, each other, and continue to enjoy each other. It's interesting that you, it's interesting that you say that because um, last week I told Lagos the story of a young man who agreed with his uh, wife before they got married that they were going to wait for two years before having children. And then um, yes. when they got married, and, and the reason he did that was because he wanted them to get a bit further in their careers, have a bit more money, travel, have a bit of fun as a young married couple, you know, and she agreed. When they got married, um, almost as soon as they got married, family members started to ask her, what's happening? What's happening? Why are we not this? Why are we not that? And then she told them, well, my husband said we should wait for two years. And then family members advised her and they connived together. And she went off her contraceptives and they essentially um, tricked the husband into getting her pregnant. And then when she got pregnant it was a complicated pregnancy he spent a lot of money and then she went on to have twins and um, which meant that he spent even more money he had to go and borrow money and so that has led him um to a point where he resents her he 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 said to us well i don't i'm not enjoying this marriage anymore she's not even remorseful about what she's done and people are not even understanding it from my perspective they're saying to me eh, children are a blessing eh, just be happy um if you knew you didn't want to have children why did you get married marriage is for mature people it's not for it's not for it's not for boys it's for men um you know he got comments like uh, um, how will you just keep a woman in the house and she will not have babies? You know, so you, you, you had, you, we had an, a, a lot of reactions like that. And I just wanted to hear the perspective of a public health expert. Yeah, thank you very much. I think I listened to that program too. Oh. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I was in the studio before that day. Oh, yes, so yes, 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 you before. were. That's true, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, well, and that is what we're talking about, family planning. You know, you have to plan. Planning is very, very important. You got a point. You know, uh, like I said, the word is contraceptive, prevention of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Now, at times, people people uh, make that mistake when you're talking about family planning. They are just thinking it's just for you to limit the number of children you want to have. Hmm. It is not just that. But it is for you to space them, to have them when you are ready. That is basically what it is. Because if you are having children when you are not ready for it, you know, hmm. it's, uh, it could be so difficult. Hmm. And that's exactly what the guy experienced, mm -hmm. which I will not blame the guy anyway. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our culture is not helping the matter. Mm. You understand? By the time you're married today, you're already counting the calendar. <laughs> you're looking at the calendar, okay, the next nine months. So when are you going to invite us? No, so we have some other important programs. You want, to, you want to progress in life, you want to improve in your career. Mm. Oh, it's not time for babies now mm. you know just like the, the, the guy had a very uh, very uh, good point mm. a very wonderful point mm -hmm. but uh you know we're talking about trusts and all those stuff that mm. people prevailed on the on the wife mm -hmm. and did what uh, what she did mm -hmm. you know but it, it's not very good actually i'll say it is not very good mm -hmm. you know because you, you just have to plan for everything okay it's because we have we have not planned in this country that's why we are where we are today mm. you know people who are projected oh in the next five years looking at the population growth rate mm. you know this is how much we're going to how many people we're going to have i mean our population will reach this social number mm -hmm. and so how many you how many uh 
uh, housing units do we need? Mm -hmm. You know, talk of uh, infrastructure, infrastructural development. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when you plan, you'll be able to project. Mm -hmm. The same thing happens with the family at the family level. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to really plan. Oh, how many children? If you look at what the economy is saying now, mm -hmm. you know, that man is just a typical, that family is a typical example. Right. You know, it can, it can destruct a lot of things. Right. And, uh, um, so 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 would you say so would you desire. so would you say that family planning is uh, could be a way to um even grow your personal wealth as a family yes yes it is it is actually a way either directly or indirectly okay it is family planning has a lot of benefits which i know time will not permit us to be looking at them one by one but let's get into some of them life. Yes, you know, you know, the one we talk about the health of the woman herself, mm -hmm. which is very, very important. Mm. You know, after delivery, you know, we want a woman to to go back as much as possible to the pre-pregnancy state. Mm. We want the health to be fully restored because it is not an easy journey. That nine month journey is not an easy journey. Mm -hmm. And I usually usually tell my clients that look. If at that nine months is just after the nine months, that's just the beginning of another journey. Mm -hmm. Because taking care of uh, the infants, mm -hmm. children, it's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to, you, you one way or the other, you'll be forced to adapt to some things mm -hmm. and take care of them. So, talking, talking about the health of the baby, one the, I mean, the health of the woman, mm -hmm. you want the woman to really uh, go back to the full health as much as possible before getting pregnant again. Mm -hmm. And also looking at the baby. You know, we want the baby to uh, benefit maximally mm. from the mother before another baby comes to just a bit displacing or your baby or that shifts. You know, <laughs> we want the baby, <laughs> we want the baby also to benefit max maximally mm -hmm. from that because if there are too short uh, interval between the children, mm -hmm. somehow the elder one is going to suffer. Mm. It is not wickedness, you know. It's it's natural. It's just natural. You, know, you give more, you, yes. You give more attention to the younger one mm -hmm. that needs more care than the older one. Mm -hmm. you understand? Like uh, WHO recommends that uh, you should do exclusive breastfeeding for six months. Mm -hmm. After which you should continue breastfeeding for another two years. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, a lot of people don't practice that. Mm -hmm. You know, but at least that is the standard that the WHO uh, I believe it recommends, and that is to improve the benefits. The health benefit on both the mother and the baby. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing. Then also, it involves a lot of money, a lot of money. Like the example that you gave mm -hmm. about this man. Now you know, it was a twin that came. Now a set of twin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even if, if they are prepared for one, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, now. Two, mm -hmm. the babies didn't uh, send them to, they didn't take them to bring them to the world. So mm -hmm. they have, it's not their fault, it's not the children's fault. Mm -hmm. So the parents have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have adequate preparation, then it will dip deep into your finances. Right. So that also affects the finances of the, of the family. Right. So, the, uh, Oh, we seem to be. Education is saying now, saying now, it's something that you really need to prepare for. Mm. You need to plan for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what are the most effective family planning practices? Hmm. The one we say most effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a very relative term. Yeah, I know, you right? know. A lot of people will come and say, "Oh, doctor, I want the best method." Mm -hmm. You know. Of course, and what I always tell them is that there is no method that is the best method. Right. You understand? Because right. if actually there is a best method, mm -hmm. then we should have forgotten about other methods. Mm -hmm. Why should I go for the second best if there is actually a best? The best. Mm -hmm. So everybody will have focused on that. And okay, this is the method that everybody should use because that is the best method. Mm -hmm. But as we discovered that what is best for you might not be best for me. Mm -hmm. And that best is very relative. So that's why we say that there is no one that is actually uh, more important or better than the other. Mm -hmm. It depends on various needs 
It depends on the individual, the couple involved, mm -hmm. the method that you want to choose. Mm -hmm. What we do as a provider is that uh, we, uh, we educate you on different methods that are available. We educate you on the possible side effects of each one of them. And we educate you on uh, the advantages of one over the other then you are left to make the decision oh i can go with this i cannot go with that but if you make a decision that we know that uh you are not uh medically eligible for that mm. because there is what we call medical eligibility criteria okay so we look at your history we look at it oh this method that you have chosen because of this reason because of that reason because of this particular ailment that you are not seeing or because of these drugs that you are on, mm. you cannot use this method that you have, that you have loved to use. Okay. So we ask you to choose another method. Okay. But we know that you will, you will definitely find a method that will suit you. Okay. All right, then. Okay, then. Lagos, this is the part where you call in with your questions because uh, we're going to take a break and uh, we're not going to be able to um, have uh, the good doctor on the show on, uh, after the break. So here's your chance to call in with the questions you have. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. I've got a public health expert on the show with me, Dr. Debumi uh, Ni, and um, he'll answer so whatever questions you have, so go ahead and ask them. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. If you'd prefer to be anonymous, that's also fine. Hello, thank you for calling us. Hello? Thank you for calling. What's your name? Yeah, let me know call my name. Okay, go ahead. So, the thing is that my own is not a, it's just not a family planning, but I think I have a daughter that is nine years old. Okay. So, I, I married when we are in our early thirties. Okay. I married as a virgin. Okay. And I have a, a, a daughter that is nine years now. Okay. So since that time nothing nothing has happened. I even leave all the doors and windows open. Mm -hmm. No if anything <laughs> will enter but here uh, now. So it's just that I'm not for family planning. I just want to know if I can be able to consist. And secondly, somebody told me about a uh, population key does I don't know how what that one work. Okay. Uh, Okay. Yes, I want to to, all right. Thank you very much. Now, the doctor is not a gynecologist. It sounds like you need a gynecologist, but I don't know if he wants to um, chip in here. I don't know. Doc? Yes, actually. Uh, well, she said she's not using any family planning method. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's being pregnant. I mean, she had a baby. Mm -hmm. for, is it, did she say nine years? Yes, the baby's nine years old, but she has been trying to conceive and uh, no luck yet. Conceive and... Uh, Oh, well, so that's what we call secondary infertility. Mm -hmm. So what she just needs to do is to visit the hospital. Okay. You know, see a gynecologist. We're going to run some tests to know where the problem is. Okay. It's, it's possible like that. We've seen people like that. Maybe after the first issue or the second issue, then they find it difficult to get pregnant again. Mm. Now, it could be from you. It could be from your husband. So there are a lot of tests that we have to do mm. both on both sides. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure that uh, and try and see where the problem could be from. Mm. And uh, if it's something suffered, yes, of course, mm. there are solutions to almost all problems. Okay. Understand? Now, if I may link that to some of this uh, family planning issue, mm -hmm. because some of the things that I've heard, is that people will say, well, I don't want to do family planning. Maybe probably until I finish having my children. Mm. Because they've had naturally without any family planning. Yeah. Just like this person that called yeah, him now. Said, yeah. You understand? Yeah. But yes, but we say that now it is not it's only one of them that we know that may cause that. I underline and emphasize that may mm -hmm. that may cause that. Mm -hmm. And it is for a limited period of time. Mm -hmm. And that is the injectables. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the uh the, the way it works. Okay. So if you if you if you do a family, let's say injectables now, and uh, you're ready to get pregnant, mm -hmm. and you're not getting pregnant, mm -hmm. you know, usually after one year, maximum of one year, and you are still not able to achieve pregnancy, then it's not likely to be as a result of that injectable. 
Okay. So hold that now. thought. Hold that thought. We have to take a break. <laughs> we have to take a break. Right. Now, it's a really long break. I don't know if you're going to be uh, able to wait for us to come back for, uh, from the break, and then we'll keep talking. If you are, would love that. If not, we'll understand, and then we'll okay. do it again some other time. Lagos, I'm Sandra okay. Ezekwesli. You're listening to The Glass Ceiling on Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Our guest today is a public health expert, uh, Dr. Debumi Ani, and he's been talking to us about family plans planning and uh, whether or not you should consider getting family planning for yourself. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. That individual, that individual died from COVID. So why are people not believing that? Why would we lie? Can you just eat Gary a lot without adding other things? And I want to... with me, Auntie Noma. Let's see what we have on our two-minute adventure today. Oh, the quiz is already ticking. Better move on. Let's meet Tamara, a boy from the Gambia. Tamara, do you hear that? Miss Teacher, maybe Tamara will teach you and me a thing or two today. Tamara is watching a caterpillar crawl on his computer. Hmm. Wow. Soon, this caterpillar will turn into a, you know what? Yes, a butterfly. And someone else is crawling out of a coffin. Can you guess who this might be? Begin with T. Three letter word with A in the middle and T at the end. Yes. I'm well tried if you almost got that right. And now, oh my gosh, it's been a week. Tick tock, thank you, clock. What you have to do, do quick. Quickly got to say bye bye. Did you put the C in the clock? Bye bye. And that was two minutes alphabet on the African names with Auntie Noma. the mall to buy eight thousand naira to get some groceries then the lady at the cash thing tells you that would be seven thousand five hundred naira a month hmm. now you're wondering if five hundred naira would be enough to get you home with uber go four hundred naira will do it and your affordable trips when next year around chevron lecky and ei all the way down to yaba suilere and ikeja open the uber app select uber go and choose mastercard to save extra terms and conditions apply save more with uber go and mastercard 
Have you been thinking of how to get the support needed to start or expand your business? We have a solution, and it's free. The Cardventure app will provide you with all the business skills and training you need to take your business to the next level. You can connect with over 15,000 Nigerian women in learning how to recreate your ideas and successfully launch your business, manage your operations efficiently, maintain proper accounting records, beat competition, and position your business for growth. Download the Hard Venture app today from the iOS and Google Play Store and start an exciting journey to building your dream venture. You also stand a chance to win free trainings and gifts for your business. The app was developed by the Sherry Blair Foundation for Women and supported by ExxonMobil Foundation in partnership with Enterprise Development Center of the Pan Atlantic University. Ladies and gentlemen, Experience Lagos! The Experience Lagos. Friday, December the 2nd, all roads lead to where it all started at the Tafawa Balewa Square. It is going to be exhilarating. One night in the presence of God that can change everything forever. Come, join Global Gospel Ministers, live, Travis Green, Chandler Moore, Sinesh, Josie Oyekong, Nathaniel Bapti, Danny McClurkin, Moses Bliss, Phil Thompson, Mr. M and Revelation, Mercy Chinwo, Tokwe Alabi, Eben, Kim Hughes, Muyua Olariwaju, Eno Michael, Priye Odebe, Onus Ariyo, and the Lagos Metropolitan Gospel Choir, with your host, Paul Adebarasin, on Friday, December the 2nd, at the Tafawa Balewa Square, Jesus, the Exceptional One. Listen to this to understand the amazing power of 5G. Oops, sorry, I played that at 5G speed. Now, here it is at the speed you're used to. With hyper-fast internet speed, low to zero lag and buffering, multiple connections, and quality data sharing, 5G will give us amazing things like remote surgeries, self-driving vehicles, instant file downloads, smart home. Get ready to experience the incredible. And remember, WGQ Club MTN 5G. John on campus, Muslim man charger, ready for his morning shower. Wow. He's out, he applies his body lotion all over him. He rolls deodorant on his underarms. Unbelievable, sensational. He's got 48 hour protection from sweat and bacteria. The ladies love it, the guys admire him. Amazing. The Nivea Men Deep Range with Black Carbon Formula is a. Muslim Men Deep Star Gel, body lotion and deodorant with Black Carbon Formula. Get 48 hour deep moisturization from Milton and 48 hour deodorant protection from sweat and bacteria. For deep smooth feeling that lasts. Official sponsor of Real Madrid. This Christmas, the best present you can give is to be there. Put your phones away during meals and give your loved ones the gift of you. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas from Coca-Cola. Also available in a 52 ounce glass bottle. Before you carry this criminal here, make him join my own force. Oh, <laughs> oh that landlord, they know they carry me go anywhere. In fact, eh, now my personal security today, my life don't change. Uh -huh. Your wife can join me here in my own force of the house for 150 million naira. Take that. I'll be cash for this. Yeah, now lie, oh, now draw, oh, that landlord. With the one win for Mega Millions Nigeria Lottery. <laughs> my life will change, oh. Mega Millions Lottery. Hey, hey, we'll be for you. Visit www.makeamillionsniger.com to register, play, and win. This message is brought to you by Mega Millions Niger. Play it, win it, not for those under 18. Hello, prospective educator. Are you a current school leaver trying to get admission into the university without substance? Do you have labs for the classroom and not to exam mind? Do you have a first degree and wish to have an education qualification? Are you planning? to set up a fresh and preschool? Are you thinking of how best to lead and manage people in educational institutions or agencies? Are you a current teacher without a CRCN license or certification?
education through Rona College of Education got you covered. Registration for the Professional Diploma in Education, PDE, Madura Certificate in Education, MCE, Professional Diploma in MHI in Tech, and Education Advanced Diploma in Educational Leadership and Management is ongoing. For details, call 080-6935-6362 or 081-622-50548. by Obandi Corobosta, Lagos, Corona College of Education, Raven, a new breed of teacher. Lagos, let us also take a look at the ABC G Smart Train and the Car Mark 2. The winning goal in history. Do not be drawn now. Once the FIFA World Cup is in the FIFA World Cup. Just as the Jaguar's one that comes with the Volvo. See, my mommy and her husband just bought for a different Christmas and shopping. But how? But 